at you from Diamond Bee Farm. Well, today it's been cloudy, thundering and raining. We just got finished picking all the squash and zucchini and kind of started misting. So I thought today would be a good day to save us some seeds, some squash and zucchini seed for next year. So let me tell you a little bit about what all you're going to need. Because you got to um, separate the seed from the pulp. So, what you'll need is a bowl, a jar, clear jar, a spoon to get out the, the seed. I use one of these to kind of sift the seed. Paper towels and like a, um, a cookie sheet or just something, whatever you have. I just have some of these old school trays that we use and some paper towels. So, next what you're going to do is, you're going to kind of try to slice open, I'm going to start with this big zucchini first. Um, you're going to kind of slice into the zucchini, oh and I forgot about a knife, you'll have to have that. Um, if you have tons, I wouldn't worry about the um, what you damage whenever you cut them in half. I would just kind of go with it because right now, I mean, we're going to have plenty for the next year. So, cut them in half. The flies are about to kill me. Um, we're going to put them in heat. We're going to put them in a bowl. Or some people have put them in. in okay, as you can see. I've, I'm ready for to put my seed out. I've got poured poured me some water in into the bowl and into the cup. I'll be honest with you, we've never really did the cup the the jug, but I am going to try it um, because I've seen that a lot of people are doing it. Then you're just going to come in here, and you can kind of tell. You can see the lines. I mean, it's just a faint one right around through there as to where the seed are and where the meat is to the to the squash. So, I'm just gonna start and going to give it a rake through to see where I'm at. And then I'm going to kinda, as much seed as I can, or as much pulp as I can get off, and really all the uh, extra pulp that we have, um, I'll be feeding to the chickens because it is a natural dewormer for them. And what you're doing is you're just more or less giving your seeds a bath. This one, um, it's got quite a bit of seed in it, to be honest with you. And you gotta make sure that you got the good heirloom seed going. Um, these were Black, Black Beauty seeds, Black Beauty squash seeds that we kind of, that we like. Oh. These are Black Beauty zucchini seed that we like every year. As I'm picking this out, I think I, I, I can give you a little bit of farm updates. Our container gardens are doing absolutely wonderful. Um, the, the cherry tomatoes that we planted and the um, cucumbers that we planted, uh, we're really enjoying them. Oh, and we have a new addition to the farm. We have a peacock. So, um, 
yeah, be looking for peacock updates. That's the first peacock this farm has ever had. So, um, yeah, that'd be a new learning experience for us. And the banana, this is, this was um, the hydrangea bush that we started in the banana. You can see it's already got new little shoots coming out of it. Um, so it's doing right well. The, I don't have any of the blueberry bushes, but um, they're doing, they're doing well as well. Um, let me get some more of these seeds out of here. It's hard to talk and do some, uh, do two things at once. I don't know that I can do that, but I'm trying. So what you're hearing right now are birds right up there. They are not quail. I actually um, had dad save me some from a little deal that he had with um, one of our really good buddies. Um, he hatched off some of his friend's um, guinea keats. So because we, you know, hatched the chicks off, dad decided to keep six little guineas so they are just absolutely thriving right now they are off the light and eating like crazy and yeah okay let's go with what we got here because i could sit here and pick all night so basically you're just gonna pick out the seed whether it's one by one ever how you want to do it but you're going to get them in here and you're going to pick them out and you're going to wash them. Um, Kevin has already got me labeled zucchini and squash um, so that I don't forget. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to pick them off one by one and you're going to try to get as much as the pulp off of them as you possibly can. I really want to try, and I'll do that just in a second. Probably do that with squash seed. Um, there's they're supposed to all fall to the, separate one fall and one, but you're just going to place them on your, after you kind of get them washed off, you're just going to place them on your towel to dry. Like so. And I just kind of use my fingers and kind of kind of swoosh them around. I mean, you know, kind of like, um, I don't know, we've been in full swing of, of um, canning tomatoes and canning um, beans. Um, couldn't pick the beans because it's, it's kind of rainy, but I think if it's going to keep on raining, because you know, you're not supposed to pick beans while it's raining because it makes your, your plants acceptable to um, diseases. Um, but I think what I'm going to do this this week, because it's a chance of a whole lot of rain this week, um, I'm just going to pull mine up and pick them that way, and put put the put the vines back on the on the garden for just some fertilization, I guess. So you just kind of have to keep working at it and keep getting the pulp, separating the pulp. Then, after you get as many seed on here as you want, you're going to place them into like a a um, a dry place out of humidity. So, actually, the barn would not be a good place at this point because it's open. So, I guess I'll take these into the house and um, let them dry. Stop it! For just a second. Take my strainer. And I just kind of work them around in there, try to get the most of that pulp off. Then when I think I've got the majority of the pulp off, of course you will go through a lot of paper towels. Just kind of pick it out. And kind of pile it up. Whoops. Doesn't have to be perfect because all that will um, dry up as well. And 
when you think you have enough, you're just going to let them dry for a couple of couple of weeks, and then you're going to what? Well, how we do ours is we put ours in an envelope, right? Write zucchini on them, right? What kind they are, and we put them in a brown bag, and we we store ours in the refrigerator. I mean, in the freezer. I'm sorry. So now then, I want to try the method, and this is just an old salsa thing that I have kept. I've been wanting to try this one. I'm going to cut the squash. You know, there's never any in the neck of it. Go ahead and get rid of that. myself first. Then again, try to scoop out as much as the seed as you can get. And this one is easy to tell because the squash usually has a good ring around through there so you know where to scoop them at. And of course you know you can never um, be doing it right unless you get it all over your, your wet on your belly or <laughs> you got squash seed on your belly. <laughs> I'm hoping this is my new favorite way to save seed. I've been checking out the YouTubes on it. And two, I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt. I'm gonna leave these up here and let them dry out a little more, um, so that maybe they'll be easier to to get the seeds out of. I hope everybody's garden has been doing good. Ours has been, and you've been trying to can a lot. You know, you never know about the how pandemics go. Maybe we're done with that one, and we can go back to normal life. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, and if you know a friend, if you know a friend, um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're having a we're having fun doing it, and don't forget about Facebook. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram. We've got it going. Um, TikTok has been taken off. Got lots of little tips on there, so don't forget to check that out. Okay. Now then, let me get this cleaned off. See how this goes. They say if you shake it real good, it's supposed to whoo, separate it. That it, that the seeds float, or no, the seeds sink and the pulp floats. Maybe that's good. Starting to rain heavier here. I wish California and all those places had all this rain we here we're having. Okay. Then I can give it a minute to settle. Okay, these right here are all the seed that sunk. They say that the sunk ones are the clean ones, and I be that gum. That didn't do too bad. May have to try that again. I'll have to give me some more water. 
calls me. Okay, and when you're picking your seeds, you know you want to pick the big full seeds, not the, not the small flat ones. Like that one is a good seed. So see how big and full they are? They almost look like a puffy piece of popcorn. That's what you kind of, that's what you want to, that's what you want to pick. You don't want to pick the flat dry ones because they're not going to produce you anything. How you know that you've got a good squash to, to cull your seeds from? One, it sounds hollow when you knock on it. That means that it, it's starting to kind of dry out on the inside. You can leave it on the vine if you're done with your squash and kind of let it dry out on its own and then cut it open and, and do the process. Or, you know, whenever it gets, see how yellow it is? When it gets this yellow, they're ready because, I mean, there is no more, no more good stuff on the inside, I guess you could say. And it's true, too, with your zucchini. You know, they, ha they get that pretty green color whenever they're, um, they're ready to be picked, but they just get a dull green color. They sound hollow on the inside as well. Um, and you know that that's ha that that your your squash plant or your zucchini plant is too big, and it's ready to harvest the seed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these seed inside, and let them start drying. And I'm going to leave these up here to kind of let them kind of kind of start drying out on their own and be ready to um, harvest some more seeds from them at a later date. Um, because it's starting to really kind of rain here and thunder and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're going to go into the house. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to go like us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and don't, and most of all, don't forget to subscribe to Diamond Bee Farm. Thanks.